What's up, y'all? Welcome to another episode of Eat, Bitch, Eat. It's Chews here. Um, it's a little after three in the afternoon on Monday. Um, I've got Wendy's. Supposedly, these are large fries, six-piece nuggets. Um, this one, oops, is a... What are you? It's a double bacon. It looks like a junior. It looks like a slider. <laughs> um, but anyway, with my order from DoorDash, with the Dash Pass, I was able to get a Baconator for free. It's just, it's just worth like, what's the value of it? $9.24, so I figured, hey, that's not too bad. Got me a little Baconator right here. And um, some sauces. I got a Frosty to dip my fries in or to eat with the fries. I got lemonade too. Um, barbecue sauce, buttermilk ranch that you can't see. Sorry that. I'm sorry about that. Barbecue, buttermilk ranch, honey mustard, sweet and sour. And I'll try the ghost pepper ranch. I've never tried it before. I know y'all are sick and tired of hearing about the Will Smith, Chris Rock debacle. Um, I did want to weigh in. I said I would last night, so at any rate. Um, first things first, if you're new to the video, new to my channel, uh, welcome. Um, if you like the content, you know, hit the thumbs up button, or as I like to say, suck it. Um, Cause that keeps it up. Um, if you don't like the video, pull it out your butt. Cause that means you don't like it. And, um, and uh, if you are waiting to subscribe, wondering if you should, um, why don't you? You know, I'm pretty uh, bare bones here, so um, with topics and things like that. So I'd appreciate like some commentary from a new subscriber or whatever. I appreciate comments, period. And y'all don't comment enough, so. Hmm. Chocolate Frosty, by the way. Okay. Eat, bitch, eat. Okay, I know. Um, I have a few thoughts regarding this thing. I'm going to try to eat and organize my thoughts at the same time. Um, when I heard the story, I saw the clip for the first time because I wasn't watching the show when it happened. First thing I thought was, man, they're going to let black people appear anywhere on TV again. <laughs> was my first reaction. Like everyone has expressed already it was shocking um but and honestly i have some conflicting feelings i feel like there are two personalities within me at war with each other one is a reasonable sensible personality and the other one is just kind of ratchet That's the ghost pepper that I'm trying right now. The ghost pepper ranch. I guess you have to eat a lot of it to really feel it. Because I don't feel it yet. But anyway. Um, so let's start with Will Smith, I guess. You know, of course he could have handled it better, differently. Who knows what kind of stress he was under? Who knows what kind of day him and Jada, he and Jada had uh, leading up to the actual show? Um, I don't want to sound like I'm excusing that behavior, but at the same time, 
in real life, you can only push people so far. Again, violence is never the answer, but there are people who don't really have that kind of management over their emotions. We know these people exist. Usually we give them uh, mental issues. I don't know what kind of issue Will Smith has, but I loved his speech. I really loved his speech. It seemed to somehow, it didn't make it right, but his emotions kind of, I was trying to fill in the blanks and was like, you know what? I know he is sorry about what happened, about the way things transpired. But also the emotion of like getting the award and the, maybe the emotion of playing that role, I don't know. Anyway, I can get back on Will in a minute. It's really hard to eat and express at the same time. So you all forgive me if I am, uh, if you feel like I'm talking too much. Now, where Chris Rock is concerned, to me, You're a brilliant, talented comedian. You could have pulled any joke out of your ass. Why did you make the conscious choice, the conscious choice to talk about another man's wife? That man being someone who's nominated for an Oscar, who's sitting like a breath away from you. I know, okay, someone mentioned to me that they read somewhere on another site that Chris Rock was advised not to tell that joke. I don't know if that's true or not. Excuse me. To me, even if it were true, even if it wasn't true, why'd you, why did you make that choice? Life is about choices, people. Every day, all day. And fries with my frosty. The salty and the sweet is a good thing. Well, not really, but you know. At any rate, um, you could have told any other joke, dude. Even if he didn't know Jada's, you know, what, you know, her dealing with the alopecia and everything and you know you put yourself in Jada's shoes when she heard the jerk she rolled her eyes she didn't find it funny she's been trying to find a way to to live with this and live courageously and beautifully in it by the way I thought her shaved head looks fabulous but um You know, this wasn't the first time he had something to say about Jada Pinkett. When he hosted the Oscars in 2016, apparently he said something about her decision to boycott the Oscars because Will Smith, um, they overlooked or over, they overlooked uh, nominating him for a, a, his role in some movie. I don't, I don't know what it was. But I think like Whoopi on the go on the view said, like Whoopi Goldberg said, it might have been something just that built up over time from twenty sixteen. I don't know. <clears throat> so my feeling is I wish both men would have taken different paths. However, there's also a part of me that I'm glad that it happened like that. He clowned his wife on national television. So Will showed him, uh, took him to West Philly in five seconds. 
and, you know, check that chin on national television. And I know Chris Rock was not expecting to get his chin checked because most comedians, when they get on the platform or on stage, you know, in the name of shock value, in the name of, you know, being whatever badasses or making people laugh or whatever, they say things about people. And, uh, you know, we laugh at it. Sometimes we laugh at it. Sometimes some of us don't. But they face little to no consequences. But that was a street consequence. That was a hood consequence. I'm hearing a lot of people say that it was inexcusable and all of this stuff. And for the most part, they're right. But, you know, there were women. I uh, found out I was reading a friend's Facebook thread with another friend of hers. And they both were talking about how, you know, they were seeing black female friends of theirs post about how it was great. They were on Will's side, how it was great to see a black man, you know, fighting and protecting the honor of his wife. And yet these are some of the same black women that always complain that black men don't defend them and don't protect them. And I thought that was funny because I do think that's true. Feel free to comment. Anyone, any black women watching right now, feel free to comment if you heard some of that sentiment too. I I was uh, I was like, you know what, that's a really good point, but it was like, should the culture really be applauding Will for what he did? Should black women really be applauding Will for what he did? And apparently Will's Will and Jada's son, Jaden, I think he either was on Instagram or Twitter. He posted, and that's how we do it. So he's seeing that example being set with that seems to suggest that, you know, violence solves things, right? Hmm. I'm just a person with an opinion, nothing more. And admittedly conflicting, conflicting views. While I can say in one breath, I wish both men had have reacted. No one's really said anything about Chris Rock and the joke that he told. Um, but I'm thinking about Will, I'm thinking about Jada Smith now, Jada Pinkett Smith. <clears throat> I, it can't have been easy for her to, in recent, uh, I guess, months or whatever, I guess she's been on Instagram and apparently she's been really frank about her alopecia um, and deciding to just kind of face it head on. Um, for any woman, I think that would just be, you know, that can't be easy for any woman. But here she is, a woman in Hollywood where it looks like everything, you know, who knows what kind of conversation they had before the show? Who knows how insecure and vulnerable this made her feel? So when Chris Rock says that, even in the, you know, context of trying to be humorous, you see, you saw her eye roll, you know, really? And who knows what kind of stuff from 2016 was still maybe in the back of mind with Will and Jada. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 I'm going to need for comedians to read their rooms more thoroughly. Huh. 
Because it's one thing to be funny. I think it's another thing to hit below the belt. And I feel like that's what Chris Rock did. Whether he knew about Jada's alopecia or not, you know, making fun of, you basically made fun of her look. No matter if she just chose to shave her head and didn't have alopecia, you made fun of how she looked. I don't know. Now, Will Smith laughed. Now, this is the part that kind of gets me. He laughed. I'm wondering if that was residual laughter from the previous joke. Or did he laugh trying to trip Chris Rock up, make him think, oh, you told a funny. Because Chris Rock didn't move as Will was approaching him. I'm not sure what he thought Chris Rock, what Will was going to do. But baby, that free bacon, they don't know what's good. So anyway, I think I've said what I wanted to say. Share what I wanted to share about it. The other thing would be, you know how the song um, um, "We Don't Talk About Bruno." I think it won. No, it didn't win. But y'all know that song by now, right? So I was looking for the meme. <laughs> we don't talk about Jada. I was looking for the internets. That's the that's what I call the I N N A N E T S. That's what I call the dark web. <laughs> that be coming up with these funny memes. I was looking for that. I'm still looking for it. <clears throat> we don't talk about Jada, baby. Mm -mm. Overall, not a good look for the culture, black culture, not a good look for black excellence. But I'm sure those guys will squash it out. Chris Rock didn't press charges. I guess he could have took him to the side at some point after the show. But see, this is where I switch up. This is why I'm, this is where I get glad that it happened the way that it did. You clown my wife on national television and now I'm going to clown you and clown. He did. Chris Rock sounded like he was so stunned. Wow. I'm not making fun, but he was done. And he sounded like it was stinging still, too. I'm not excusing what Will did, but I do hope it sets a precedent for comedians going forward, just for them to be able to really study who's in the room, you know? Um, <laughs> the other part that I liked uh, was Regina Hall's innovative uh, COVID 
precautions or whatever. <laughs> that little skit that she had, that was pretty funny. Mm-hmm. Is that anything though? Oh, there is some mayonnaise on it. Not that much though. You guys, feel free to leave a comment if you have any thoughts about that. About that whole thing. I know you. everyone's at the point where it's like enough already. Mm. Everyone is kind of making a point about Will should apologize to Chris Rock. He should have apologized to him on the air. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think um, he was filled with so much emotion that, you know, I, I think the first uh, the first thing front of mind for him was whether he would be invited back to the Oscars. So that's why I think he said what he said, figuring he could deal with Chris outside which you should have done in the first place, but. You know, like they say, boo, don't start and I won't be done. Chris started it. He started it. I know very few men that would allow their spouses to be talked about in that way. Especially if they're undergoing a health condition or medical condition. Mm. Mm. At any rate, you guys, I think I'm gonna end it here because it's at 22 minutes and I don't want this to take, it takes forever to upload when it's like over 20 minutes. I'm gonna eat the rest off camera. But thank you so much <laughs> for watching. comment again you don't have to agree with me although if you don't I'll block you okay have a good night <laughs>